So, um, this is where I have all my four series uh, sets, four series strings of panels coming in through the roof, and then I have a 60 amp breaker there. Um, haven't had any problem with that being uh, changing or anything like that. It's not, it, nothing is causing that to flip. Um, I have these all coiled up here. Basically, for the positive and negative ends, I have them uh, paralleled here. Um, so I have two of these branch connectors, uh, one for the positive ends, one for the negative ends. So I'm basically taking the four series strings and paralleling them, paralleling them. Um, and on the positives, I do have um, 15 amp fuses. This says 20 amp, but actually inside it's all 15. This is this is a more accurate representation here. So. Um, anyway, for my grow watt, like I said, uh, I monitored it to check for high voltage, um, high amps, and haven't. No I monitored the uh, voltage and amps to check for uh, any fluctuations, or you know, to right before it goes out, it sat there and waited for it to go out. The voltage was very reasonable, at like 77 volts. Uh, the amps were pretty low, I think, on like. I don't remember exactly, but I didn't notice it going high at all. I do have it configured to accept up to 80 amps um, of input. And uh, for the AC input, I have it set to 10 amps maximum. Uh, and it's plugged into my RV here. Um, and for the solar, um, yeah, I don't think you can set a, a maximum current for the solar, but for the for the unit as a whole, I have it set to 80, and uh, I didn't see the solar going anywhere close to that. Um, I do have actually for my my photovoltaic input, my PV input, I currently have two battery cables there, um, battery jump start cables. I'm wondering if that's the issue. Uh, I was thinking maybe that's the issue, and um, I, I can possibly I can work on replacing those six gauge. Um, cabling which I do have with me 6 gauge uh, solar cabling so that could potentially be the issue but again I didn't notice any voltage spikes um, you know on when, while monitoring the voltage so yeah that basically is my interior setup here um, and I do have it configured to accept both solar and utility input uh, so down here I Here's the, the two gauge battery wires. Um, yeah, that's what I have. Thanks.